Welcome to this video guys. In this video, I'll show you how you can set up pip so that you can install packages in Visual Studio Code. So as you can see here, I have Seaborn that is not installed. So if I type pip install Seaborn, as you can see, it gives me error. Pip is not recognized. So let's set up pip so that we can install packages. First, go to this URL here. I'll have this link in the description. You can just click on it and scroll down. And I'm on Windows, so what I'll do is I'll click on Windows. Okay, sorry, not this. What you need to do is you need to click on this, get PY. Right click on this and click on save link as. And save it wherever we want. And we need to know where we have saved this because we will need to go to this directory. So I'll just save it in downloads. Once it's done, I'll just go to downloads and open command prompt here. A shortcut in Windows is just click here and type CMD and hit enter. And now, as you can see, we are inside downloads directory. If you are on Mac or Linux, you can just open your terminal and go to this directory. Now type Python, get, and now you can hit tab to autocomplete and hit enter. If Python did not work for you in Windows, just type PY. Now pip is being installed. Let's wait till the installation is complete. Once pip is successfully installed, it will show you where the pip has been installed. So what I'll do is I'll just copy this path and we need to add this to environment variables. Otherwise this will not work. So if I do this again, it will do the same thing because we have not added it to environment variables. So to do that, press your windows key and type environment and click on this, click on environment variables in this path, select this and click double, I mean double click in the bottom empty row, double click again and paste the path that you have just created. That's just copied. Okay, click on OK. Click OK again. Click OK. Now you can close Visual Studio Code and open it again. And this time, if I run this command, pip install Seaborn again. As you can see, Seaborn is successfully installed. And now if I go here, as you can see, that warning line is also gone. So this is how you can set up PIP and use in VS Code. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.